let's keep with this example here of a of a restaurant owner. So we have our restaurateur here, and suppose that she um, initially sets up her business with one million dollars in contributed capital. Contributed capital. And that contributed capital is used to buy a million dollars worth of assets. The land, the, the equipment, the supplies. Let me make this, this box representing our assets a little bit neater here. So we have our assets. And these assets are used to produce income. So we've got our restaurant here. And suppose this restaurant is doing surprisingly well. So the food's great, the customers are loving it, we're filling up every single table, every single night, uh, we're getting written up in the newspaper, there are lines outside the door, and this owner is saying to herself, you know, this is doing much better than I expected. And, you know, maybe I'm serving 200 meals a night uh, because the business is really operating at full capacity. Everything's get, Every table's getting taken up. So I figure... If I can just increase my business's capacity, and uh, you know, I think I have enough demand here to serve twice as many meals each night, uh, then I can serve twice as many customers and make twice as much income. So, but suppose there's a complicating factor here. So, um, we want to double the size of the restaurant. So maybe we want to buy the plot of land next to the existing restaurant, knock down a wall, build a second dining room. Uh, buy twice as many tables, twice as many chairs, uh, double the size of the kitchen. All of this, of course, costs money, right? But suppose that our owner, our, uh, our shareholder uh, of this restaurant, the restaurateur, has already spent all of her money in the restaurant's existing assets. So all of the existing tables and chairs and, and the building uh, are, are tying up all of our owner's uh, cash. So she's a little bit strapped for cash, but maybe she's really confident that this expansion is going to be quite successful. So she can go to a second source of funding, and maybe she goes to a bank. So let's put the bank up here. Here is our, here is our bank. And a bank can provide a loan, and since we're doubling the amount of assets, and we already had a million in assets, we're going to take a loan to fund a second million dollars worth of assets. We're essentially cloning the first part of the business and kind of stacking it on top of the second part, or, or stacking it on top of the first part of the business. So we've got our original assets down here and our expansion, our second set of assets up here. So we have this loan, this million dollar loan outstanding, and this creates what is called a liability. What is a liability? A liability is essentially an obligation that the business needs to meet, an obligation. Now, the liability is any liability is essentially um, or something as a liability if it is if it is borrowed so liabilities are what is borrowed because the original set of assets that we were using to operate wasn't being borrowed that uh, from from the perspective of the owner that that still belongs to the owner so even though the cash isn't in her pocket anymore it was used to buy the tables and the chairs and the refrigerators and the ovens those tables, chairs, refrigerators, and ovens all belong to her because they belong to the business and she owns the business. But this liability here is something different because this is no longer this part of the business, this expansion, this new part, hasn't, wasn't funded by the owner herself. It's being funded by an outside party. It's being borrowed. So this leaves the business and the owners of the business with a liability. So we now have two million dollars in total assets. So two million are our total assets. 
And those total assets, those $2 million in total assets, are comprised of $1 million in liabilities, that is the loan that we just took out, and $1 million in equity. So if liabilities are what is borrowed, or we could also say that a liability is what is owed, in other words, the business owes the bank this money uh, for the loan. If liabilities are what is owed, then equity is what is owned. What is owned? And that is owned by the owners of the company. So if we look at our total assets here, our $2 million in total assets, we have $1 million that's still owed back to the bank that needs to get paid back. And then what's left over of the $2 million is this other $1 million um, that the owners are essentially entitled to. So another way of, of defining equity is the value of assets left for the owners once liabilities or the obligations, once the liabilities, oops, losing my connection here, once the liabilities have been satisfied. So all of this gives us enough information to bring into focus our balance sheet equation. And the balance sheet equation is also called the fundamental equation of accounting because it's that important. And it says that assets assets equal liabilities plus equity. So in our case here, our $2 million in assets are comprised of $1 million in obligations, something that's being borrowed from an outside party, and then $1 million that was originated by the owners themselves. Looks like we're losing our connection here. Okay, so in other words, this is the portion of the assets, this is the portion of the assets that is being borrowed. It's essentially being financed from creditors, or those are people who are letting us borrow something of theirs, borrow assets of theirs. In this case, we're borrowing cash from them. And this is the portion of assets, the equity, that's being financed by the owners. So another way of looking at this balance sheet equation here is that this equation tells us what portion of assets are funded by the owners themselves and what portion is being borrowed? Or another way of thinking of it is, it answers the question, to whom does the business owe its existence, right? Because the business is sort of made up of its assets. So the, 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 the restaurant is made up of all the things inside it. And we have to ask ourselves when we're looking at this equation, this, this equation tells us of all the assets that we're looking at here, of all the stuff that the business has to work with, how much of it does it have the owners to thank and how much of it does it have the creditors or the people who lend it something to thank it for? So that's really the, the, the foundation of, of the balance sheet. It, it tells you what portion of the, uh, of, the, of the total business is being provided by each of these two types of parties.